Hey, what's up guys? I'll make this a quick intro and get right into the video. This took me hours to complete, but if you watch this video before you walk outside to do it, it can be less than an hour of work. I've listed a few things that you will need to complete the job on the screen. I've personally never made a repair video for any of my vehicles, and I was holding the phone with one hand, but if you watch this, you will fix your problem. I used a lot of different videos fixing different things and pieced them all together and used some forum posts that I did find to complete this. But you can do it all with this video. Enjoy. Hey, what's up, guys? If you're watching this video, you probably have the same issue that I did. I let my girlfriend use my car for one day and it came back with my divider tray not connected anymore. Uh, it took me a very long time to figure out even just the piece that you need to replace this because you cannot buy this by itself. Uh, this application works on any S550 from 2014 to 2019. The part that you need is this. It all comes together. I'm going to put the part number for this piece in the description and on the screen. So with it being said that any car from 2014 to 2019 would have the same approach to replacing this, I can't believe that I could not find one video online explaining exactly how to do it. So I'm gonna be the one to do it. You start at the very rear. You're gonna pop this uh, back piece off. I just use a screwdriver see in there it just has these little clips holding it in and that comes off you can unplug that after you've removed this top piece I unplug this I just had a little little screwdriver thing looking thing this bottom piece pulls right out now that we've pulled this back you're gonna have two screws in here these are t30s I'm gonna remove both of those and we're halfway to removing this entire console. Those two screws in the back hold this whole thing down. It's kind of weird. Now we'll move to the front. Now that we are back up here in the front, your broken piece should be already broken enough to pull it out. You're gonna take this little switch, push it forward, cup holder comes right out. You can take this little rubber piece, also remove that. Down here, we're gonna have two more screws to pull out, and that is going to allow us to completely pull this console back. Once you've removed those two bolts, this entire console will move. I didn't leave the bolts down there. I grabbed a pair of pliers and pulled them out of there. Now this whole unit, will come up. I'm gonna pause and pull back on it. To remove the console, I lift it up on the back. So the console sitting like this, you lift it up and pull back. It'll slide right out of what's holding it up in here. So as you pull back, I started to lean mine up and I seen the only thing stopping me from putting this at a 90 degree angle straight up was this port right here. I used just a little needle nose to pop that free. Okay, we jumped the gun. I leaned the console back down and I did find a guide online with no pictures, which is hard to understand. And I will put that in the link in the description. And I'm also gonna put a picture of the steps at the very end, just in case the link were to ever not be around anymore. Uh, we have to remove this piece I was able to put my thumbs on each side and you just lift up and pull back. And this is going to make room for this piece to come off. Okay, a lot has changed since my last update. I cannot find out how to get the uh, command unit off. So what I did was I unplugged all the electrical going to the center console. And I brought it over here. Okay guys, I had to go inside and take a break to figure this out now that I've done so much more than needed. However, there's no videos showing you how to remove 
this piece the way it's sitting in here. Because what I can see is those two screws, but how are you gonna get to them? Well, look, if you look down in there, there's just a little sliver specifically for your screwdriver to go in. There it is. All right, guys, I did not have a long enough uh, T20 bit to reach down into there to release this piece. So I actually had to go to Lowe's. Uh, this was the only thing that I could find that would be long enough to reach. So let's get into that. All right, flash on, that makes it easy. So, we're looking for this hole. There it is, slides right through. Lefty, lefty Lucy. That's gonna release this. Again, we don't have to take these screws all the way out. We just have to loosen them. Let's see, boom, comes right out. Okay, now we're, we're moving, we're moving somewhere. Okay, so we removed that, we unplugged this. Now we're going to close that. And we're gonna flip this whole unit up. If we move this out of our way, you can see these two things right here, these two clips. If we grab any pair of pliers, should be able to try to push this. Come on this side and do the same. And again, we have nothing that we're going off of. We are just removing to what makes sense to get to this piece. This is insane. This is where we're at. This should just pop out. And it does. Looks like. Right there, we got to remove. I'm gonna figure out how to do that and I'll come back. All right, so after we've removed these two pieces, you're gonna have one, two, three more T20 bits. Supposedly, we should be able to disconnect the top piece of the console from the bottom from the rear. So let's try. All right guys, we're on to something here. So in the written thing on some forums that got, you know, some guy said how to do it. He did forget to mention one thing. If you pull this out, set that to the side. There's four bolts. One, two, three, four. When you take those out, you can separate the bottom from the top and that's what we need to be able to get up in there. This is insane that this is what you have to do for the cup holder. But look, it'll come, it'll come apart like this. It comes up. So I just need to unplug those uh, cords right there. And that's what I'm going to do. All right. So I just slid these things forward. And they came out of their little you know, holes. And the whole top piece comes out. And there is our problem right there. So let me get in a better position and I'll turn the camera back on. Okay. So now I can reach one, two, and then three and four that I was able to reach without uh, taking this thing entirely apart. Uh, so I'm gonna unscrew these and we'll go from there. As for getting your piece off like this, I had it sitting here I put my fingers with it in the closed position. I put my fingers back here and pushed and I got it to pop off without breaking anything, I think. Okay, now we have this back on there firm. Uh, you reverse exactly how you pulled it off. Start it, put it closer up to the top, pull it down, and you can watch and make sure that it's hitting in where it's supposed to from the bottom. So now we're gonna put this back in here and we're gonna tighten everything down. 
So after you've finished putting everything back together, all that work was to replace that piece right there. It works, good to go. Don't let your girlfriend use your cup holder.